doing guys welcome back and yeah i'm gonna give you guys an update on my truck let me show you guys um how the truck is doing from what it used to look like but all right actually been at the body shop all this time so uh, because of the hurricane damage remember when the trees fell on it so I'm actually at the shop now the shop is taking a little longer but they're doing a great job because they're actually taking off the door handles the mirrors they're doing a good job I mean it's taking long though I mean I, I gotta admit it is taking too a little bit too long but they're not just taping up things they're actually taking removing and painting pieces by pieces like they actually took off the hood, uh, the door handles, the mirrors, the bed. So um, they're doing a great job. And um, it's just, I'm dying to have it already because uh, the Jeep, you know, I don't want to abuse the Jeep to taking the boat around. Okay, guys, that was an update on my truck. And yes, today is Throwback Thursdays. So let's go put the video up. And I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, yeah, it's the weekend. We're gonna go for a little ride. We're gonna take a ride to uh, Polarado Beach. Haven't been there in a long time. So let's see how things are. Right now we're heading east on the expressway, but I'm being joined today by a special guest, Florida Outdoor Adventures. Go check out this channel, they have a lot of pretty cool stuff. And then, but before we go to the beach, we're gonna head through the Polaridale Tunnel. It's pretty cool, you guys haven't been there. By the way, right now is winter for us, so our temperature is about uh, 75, I think. I mean, it's a pretty cool day to ride. That's the good thing about Florida. It never gets really cold. Okay, we just arrived to the Poladadil Beach, better known as Poladadil Strip. It used to be the capital spring break of the United States. I remember I used to come here Friday nights and leave Sunday morning. People used to sleep in their cars. It was like a three-day party every weekend. I mean, it was just parties nonstop. It was the best thing. But I guess uh, the, the neighbors, the condominium owners started complaining about the noise and the nonstop party. So at 10 o'clock at night, the police will come and park their cars in the middle of the street and block traffic try to get everybody to get out of the beach and then they would issue tickets for everything everything that they could they would issue a ticket just to get people to drive away and now they're trying to bring it back by doing you know they did the remodeling they put new shops new clubs but still it's not even close what it used to be the strip is about 20 blocks long and it, it literally took like two hours just to get across 20 blocks because of so many people walking on the street. There was a lot of girls in bikinis and people with uh, 
water fights. I mean, it, it was just a great time to be there. Wrong, huh? Freaking Frosty the Snowman. This little area here is pretty cool. There's a bunch of shops and restaurants and uh, and a Hooters, I think, up there. Be yeah, Beach Place Hooters. The only problem is a parking. Parking is hard right here on the beach. Yeah, right now we're in Las Olas Boulevard, another uh, well-known place in Lauderdale with a lot of restaurants and clubs and stuff. We're gonna grab a little lunch. I mean, it's pretty cool. A street legal go golf cart. I want one of those. <laughs> KTM car. Beep, 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 beep. I'm